Oh, what's going on there, YouTube? Well, I just finished up work. We're gonna head down to Jolly's here. There's the, uh, if it'll focus, the 580 case there. The one I did the cold start with there back, I don't know, November time? I don't remember what it was now, but anyway, I'll put a link to the video. But yeah, we're gonna head down to Jolly's now, so, uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, we made her down, boys. Anyway, we'll head in, see if we can uh, find Nick and see if we can make a little movie. We're here with Nick from Jolly's Farm Toys in Arthur, Ontario. Nick, do you have anything to say about the toys? Hello out there, tractor collectors. Uh, today we just wanted to thank you guys for doing the quick video tour of our open house and looking at all the cool displays the kids from our tractor club have been making. We wanted to highlight the re-emergence of handmade toys or quality made in Canada toys. So here we have a bunch of our Martins miniature tractors, which are all made in Elmira, Ontario by hand. And you can see here the detail on the tractors all the way down to the hand painted lettering. The pieces are manufactured in Elmira out of pewter. And so if you wanted to build your own tractor, you could get a kit with a bunch of raw pewter parts and put it together. Or you can get finished machines all hand done up, showing the fine Canadian quality uh, that we're proud of here at Jobs. Nick has been so kind to give us permission to take a little virtual tour for you guys for YouTube of some of the toys he's got in stock. New 620 quad track. 10600 series. 856 precision. These Kenji cards are nice. Huge. This is that new case steam engine that they had. Earl just put out. These are nice. I'd like to get one of these too. Of course, the Wild About Steiger editions. He's got 164 on the other side of that cabinet room. CPUs. I just wanted to talk here for a minute because um, these are like um, 116 scale kits that Dolly sells. I believe these used to be Teeswater Farm Toys molds. See, there's a nice Cockshot 30. I'd like to get one of those for my shelf. W4. That's a very nice piece, too. They're all very nice pieces. A rakes, of course. Co op E3. Oh, we've got some construction equipment here in various scales 150 scale. Or if he, have a, if he uh, has a case 580 or not. Like the one I run at work. Of course, there's all kinds of toys here. These are Siku models, of course. You got your Klaus, Klaus, Klaus. Not sure how to pronounce it. I just don't remember it. This second, Siku. Very nice models. Very, very nice display. Of course, you have some John Deere stuff over here, 116 scale, and 132nd, by the looks of it. These are some of next parts here, castings. Looks like we have some pedal tractor wheels here, various parts. Have some Ertl tractors here, Farmall, Alice Chalmers. Oh, this Nate D. Oliver, RP. Very nice setup Nick has here. Some more John Deere's here. Oliver disc. Some more Oliver tractors down here at the bottom. These are Universal Hobbies here. It's a nice Oliver 600, I like that one. Of course, David Brown 950. I may very well pick up one of these Oliver 600s. They don't have anything like that just yet. And they're very, I've seen pictures of these on the Toy Tractor Times. They're very nice, nicely done model. Yeah, Bruder Toys here. Try and get the right angle so you guys can see everything. Some more brooder toys down here. 
Try and go here. Try and get the full shot for you guys. Nick has a um, full size the Lion thrashing machine in here. Made in Mild May, Ontario. Not sure when it would have been manufactured, but it's in very nice shape and I believe it's all original. We also have some pedal tractors here. Can't remember if I got a clip of this yet or not, but we have a bunch of 116th scale kits that Jolly's offers. Of course with some uh, pedal tractor pole type parts. Well here at Jolly's open house today we have several displays. Sprayers. Alice Charming that looks like an air seater. Yeah, that's a lot better shape than that 4450 I just got in the mail last week. Thing of pumping <laughs> We of course have the workbench, but look what I found. So that's almost exactly like the one I just got in the mail last week. And that's even got way more paint on the one I just bought. This must be Nick's workbench. Looks similar to mine. Hmm. 8870 down here. I'd like to get one of these too. And see if I can find one to restore, it'd be pretty sweet. And some more construction stuff here. There's some neat cranes downstairs I should show you guys too. Of course, you have various 116 scale tractors here. I'd like to get this. Do a project and get it put a set of these balloon tires on it. Nice and look, nice and nice and beefy. There's a 4960 down here. We got larger scale uh, train trains and train cars, railway. I'm not sure what scale these are. We have 164 implements. There's a puller tractor down there. NTPA. That's pretty sweet. Spirit of Oliver with uh, some extra chrome on it. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I think we've gone to toy heaven here, boys. We have some skill mall railway cars. Gator. Huge transport, that's cool. I like that. I'm glad to see one of these here. I want to build myself one of these but I think I want to do it out of a square, square bar and we'll weld it together for a uh, video for you guys. Uh, wooden hay rack. More stuff in the bottom there. This is pretty neat. It's like a John Deere 8010 but industrial or at least log, logger rather. That's pretty neat. The 620RX down here. That's you. 130 second scale, 64. How are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. We're making a YouTube video for Nick. Are you? Yeah. Would you like to be in it? That's good. We're all about toys on our channel. Yeah. <laughs> Big <Yeah>. and small. <laughs> oh, check this out, boys. This is like a golden chase unit of that steam engine I showed you earlier. And this is the regular production. Big Kenji Kurt. I forget the name of these now, but these are really neat. I almost bought one of those myself, but a little bit out of my price range right now. Beautiful case steam engine. Kenji Kurt's. I believe these are Walesco steam engines. 
combines. Got some custom 116 stuff here. 4440. Some down up. Actually, they got some removable duels. 4440s. We got an awesome 116 scale farm display here too. I believe that's a Carter or it's either a Carter or a True Scale John Deere 60. I've been looking for one of those for a while. Old disc. I moved to Wisconsin. Chef truck. This is nice here. I like this. This is sweet. Is that the Oliver Goodison 77 with a uh, very old uh, case. I would assume using it for a green buggy. That's pretty sweet. Check out this thrash machine, boys. Isn't this awesome? This might be a John Goodison steam engine, I think. I think it's a Goodison engine. I'm not sure. That's freaking awesome, though. I like it. I like it a lot. What do you want? Uh, so we have like a. Not anyway, sure what scale. So, um, and then I made this barn for Nick because he wanted to display this threshing machine for me. A uh, so, slurry pit, I believe. Grandpa, uh, saw the right there. Got some more 164 displays. Very nice. That's the new. This was recently released. This new Holland Combine here with the tracks on it. I think it's a CR90. I can't remember. Yeah, we have some really nice shelves here. Various signs, of course. I believe there are some toy farmer editions there. That Oliver is a toy farmer. Yeah, each there. Big brother. I have some more 164s here. Lots of stuff, boys. Lots of stuff. Toy heaven. Oh, there's some Oliver stuff there. This 880, if I can zoom in on it. That 880 is the Toy Tractor Times Edition. I'm looking for one of those. If anyone knows of where I can get one, send me a link and I'll buy it. Here. We have another scale model display here. We have some more 116 scale kits here. These are 132s. So, row crop 80 tuck shot. Has some Oliver 80 row crop. There's an old one. It's got hard part decals on it. Massey Harris. It was just for one horse. Not a wheel. Co-op E3. Really nice around the oil pole. There would be someone to rake the hay. Oh, the, the green off here. See, okay. Robert Bell engine. Cool picture. The before McCord. Yes. Have yes. some horse displays down here. Because it didn't tie. A few more of the great displays you have here today. <laughs> I wanted to make a correction in the video here. This is an engine that Nick um, custom put together. He was telling me, I believe he said the engine was a case engine and the boiler was a Waterloo, I believe. And I think he said these tanks are uh, soggy and massive style. So this is one that he's, um, not sure the word I'm looking for, he's 
put together out different engines, but you've seen a real one like it, so you wanted a model, which is absolutely awesome. I wanted to get a quick little shot of Nick's toy hauler here. I'm not sure what brand truck it is, but uh, she's pretty beefy. You can pull a lot of strength from that. Uh, Oshkosh. Oh, is that right? Okay. Cool. It's a bit of a plane. Wow, it's a tall truck. Wow. Flaming Mount Everest. <laughs> See if I can get up here. I'm going to put this up here first. We're making a YouTube video. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bought the, uh, I bought the die cast one like this. Oh, right on. Now it's a thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what scale is that? That's the 150th scale. Oh, 150, okay. Check this out, please. Uh, 300. Mm hmm. And now they stop making them. Oh, is that right? This is cool. There's a plastic kit you can get, which goes for about 250. Back seat. Right on. Service to October 10. 1759 miles. This is freaking sweet, boys. Well, we're here at the Timmy's here in uh, Orangeville. Seems every time I'm in Orangeville or Grand Valley, Arthur, Paisley, wherever I may be going, I always stop at this Tim Hortons. It's like, uh, Almost a tradition I made it, but I cannot wait till I get home to show you guys what I got. I'm gonna tell you something. I'll give you a hint anyway. There's not one green tractor in the bunch. All right, we made it home one piece, boys. So uh, about an hour, 15 hour, 20 minute haul from Dolly's place to mine. So uh, anyway, let's get to what I picked up at Jolly's. I know I've been teasing you guys with uh, builds and parts coming in and this and that and whatnot in the last few videos, but I'm gonna get right into this part. Once again, I wanted to give a big thanks to Nick for uh, hooking us up with this. This is a 1 16th scale McCormick Deering W4 kit. Now, these are cast out of pewter, and I believe they spin cast these. As you can see, I'll open it up. We've got casting halves here. So it's a W4, of course. Then you got all your little parts and pieces in here if it'll focus. Got your draw bar and all the tie rod ends and all the little pieces are there. And here we got mufflers and more little bits and oh, sorry, mufflers and little bits and wheels and tires. So this is going to be quite the interesting little build. But I think it'll uh, be pretty sweet. I took a picture of the one that Nick had assembled at his at his show. Maybe I'll stick that in here too. These are two piece wheel, by the way. So. These go together and then you put a little bit of glue on the inside and they go in here, of course. So that's going to make for some neat videos I think. I think you guys will really enjoy that. Plus you guys have been asking me to do a red tractor so this is definitely going to be a red tractor. So this is going to be really neat. I'm really excited to put this together for you guys and have it painted up as, as happy as I am to have it on the shelf. Anyway, I also bought these from Jolly's. MT975E cat challenger four wheel drive big triples on it this is probably the widest tractor is going to go in that cabinet yet but it, i also picked this up kinsey big blue tractor this is sweet i was going to order one of these a while ago but i seen these on jolly's shelf and i decided to pick one up so yeah being as it's my birthday next wednesday i guess uh that'll fill our annual tradition of uh, getting a new tractor or a few new tractors as i should say for uh my birthday this year Well, I've got the new Challenger in big blue putting uh, the glass cabinets there. They look friggin' sweet. That Challenger is an awful wide tractor with triples on it. I might see if I can find some higher detail uh, duels to go on that. Because I think Boz and Implement sells a set that look really sweet on that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that tour of Jolly's Farm Toys. I had a blast going out there. It was friggin' awesome. I wanted to thank Nick for having us out there. And once again for helping us out with the... McCormick Daring W4 kit. I cannot wait to get that put together for you guys. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, check out Jolly's Farm Toys. I'll put a link to his website 
in the video description box down below. You guys have a great day.